Good Wednesday morning, fourth graders. I would like you to introduce to introduce you guys to my favorite Squishmallow. My favorite Squishmallow, his name is Wally. He is a narwhal. And I love him because, first of all, he's nice and fluffy and the perfect size to hug. Second of all, he was given to me by my sunshine pal at school. I don't, I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but the teachers had a secret pal that we would give presents and little notes to and stuff. And, and Wally, I found him on my desk at Christmas time. And he is just one of my most favorite squishmallows and or squash mellows. But I just wanted to introduce him to you to show you on Wednesday how fun it can be when you have some fun buddies to hug and to cuddle with, especially when you get a little bit nervous or a little bit down. I hope all of you guys are doing a fantastic staying home and staying safe. So I wanted to kind of go over the, the lesson today. I've got it right here. We are doing facts and opinions and so we did um, oceans and dolphins and beaches and remember these should be in complete sentences guys with capitals and periods. Today I want you to do a fact and opinion about vacations. I am so sad because I had to cancel my vacations. I was going to go down to Grand Canyon and all kinds of fun places and bring back really cool magnets to put up on our wall and I don't get to go so I'm kind of sad but I'm sure you guys have an amazing some amazing things you can tell me about vacations give me a fact and give me an opinion about vacations okay so yesterday I'm just going to kind of flip through my packet here and you guys can flip through yours we did our um we did our analogies right we had um, salt water is to ocean as fresh water is to stream. Breakfast is to morning as dinner is to evening. Let's see if you guys kind of kind of got some of these other ones right. Ship is to above water as blank is to below water. What goes below water? Hopefully everybody put submarine, right? So hope, give yourself a big high five if you got that one right. I'm going to skip down to number eight and let's see this one. R blank R to eyes as um, smells is to R to nose. Okay, so we've got smells. Smells are going with nose. What do eyes do? Let's look back up here. Oh, yep, sights. Yep, so if you got sights, perfect down there. Good job. So I thought I would just do a couple more to, to refresh your memory. Then I'm going to go ahead and flip this packet over. We're going to check this one out because this one was super important. Let's see if you guys got these right. I did not shed a blank over my last paper. Mom will mend the blank in my jacket. I hope everybody put this homograph right here. Tear or tear. I did not shed a tear and my mom will mend the tear. Yep. Dad broke the marath broke a marathon blank in the race. I want to blank my thoughts in a diary. This is another homograph guys. This one would be record or record. Bro I broke the marathon record, and this one is record my thoughts, okay? Um, the blank was worth one point. The blank of the class is to learn about Native Americans. Note purpose. Purpose would work down here. The purpose of the class was to learn about Native Americans, but it wouldn't work up there. Touchdown or goal. The goal was worth one point. Ah, and the the goal of the class was learned about Native Americans, so it should be goal. Hopefully you guys got those right. Over here, general. The general idea was to weave a basket. So general means kind of the overall. She was a general in the army. Nope, that's a person. The soldier followed their general. Nope, that's a person. I think that the general had the best idea. That's still a person. No general study of history can cover everything. This would be the overall, so this one would be the same. So hopefully you guys got D. She wants the same type of coat. So type is a kind of coat. Um, echo. Guess what that's how you say. Echo. Echo. Ah. Can type very fast. Now that's a type, like when you're typing on the, the um, typewriter, or actually that really dates me, the computer. Let me type up this report. Again, you're typing that on a computer. Um, I like this type of cereal the best. Ah, oh, there's our kind. Kind of cereal the best. Um, hopefully you guys like some cereal. My favorite kind of cereal, just to let you know, is that s'mores kind that you get at Walmart. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Love that kind. All right, so go ahead and turn your packet over to the next page here. 
Alrighty, we are going to be taking a look at a, um, a two-syllable word. One of the syllables is pronounced with more emphasis. You know what, you guys? I am just going to tell you right now that this page is the least favorite page that we do the entire year. And to me, it is not worth it to, to torture parents and students. And so we're just going to put an X through it. Just put an X. Yay! You don't have to do that page. Turn it over. Just flip it like a pancake, guys. We're not going to do it. Okay, we're going to just we're going to skip it and go on to our skimming and scanning, which is a much more important skill. Okay? Skimming and scanning is a great skill to have with our study skills. Skimming means you are looking for the main idea of whatever you're reading. So when you read a paragraph or a passage, you're maybe just reading the like the first couple of sentences and maybe the last sentence in the paragraph. You're just trying to get the general gist of what's happening. You're not reading for details. We do not skim when we're reading books. Only, we all tell you when you can skim, but not when you're reading books. Scanning is when you're actually looking through to a text to find something specific, maybe a date or a name, and you need to find some information out. So the when you skim, this is how you do. When you are asked to read a passage, so say back in our packet here, do we have a passage that, yeah, we did. Okay, so if we were going to, if I said to you, I want you to read this passage, you would need to read every single word in this passage, okay? Skimming means that you're only just reading maybe the first sentence in every paragraph to get a general idea. The only time that you should be skimming is if you're looking for something, some information, or you've already read the passage and you're just looking back into it to remind yourself of what it is. Okay, so skimming is a great study skill, but it is never a substitute for reading. Scanning would be as if I said, hey, find the word period in this in this paragraph, in this passage. I'm scanning, I'm looking for that word period. It's one of our bolded words right there. Ah, there's period. Okay, great. It's right there. I scanned through it just to find it. I didn't really read anything. I'm just looking for that particular word. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys follow the directions on this page. I uh, talked to you about one that would be useful a little bit so you can write that down and you guys can answer that page. The last page that you're going to do in your packet today is just a review, once again, of fact and opinion. Remember what you do. You always read the questions first, then you read the story, and then you go through and answer the questions. Okay, guys? Make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're working on your county report. A, B, C book. Every page, A, should have um, a, a, something about your county. Um, that starts with A. So for instance, if you had Davis County and you had the letter L in your book, which everybody will have because you have 26 letters in the alphabet, you might say the letter L was Lagoon. And then you'd have Lagoon and then you'd give me two or three sentences about Lagoon and you would have a, a um, picture of Lagoon on your page. Okay. Your book doesn't matter what size it is. It doesn't matter um, the shape that it is. It doesn't matter what the cover looks like. You guys can make that up for whatever, however you want to do for your packet or for your ABC book for your county. But you do have to have 26 letters and some of them you're going to have to be creative with guys because X and Q and Z and stuff are a little tricky. So if you get stuck on one, let me know and I can kind of help you out a little bit. Okay. I want you guys to know how much that Wally and I miss you guys. I will be coming to you from the school on Thursday. I'm going up there to get your stuff ready since we won't be seeing each other until May 1st. I'm going to go get some more stuff ready. Parents, there will be packets on Monday, April 6th for you to pick up at the school. And I will also email those digitally too as well. And I'll let you know if there's any other important information that comes out. But Wally and I want to tell you we love you. We miss you. Have a fantastic rest of your day. See you later, guys.